All right, now to a crime alert. The Oceanside Police Department is hoping that someone will recognize this man. They say that he tried to lure a girl by stealing her phone at a Walmart. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is joining us. And Steve, you spoke to shoppers who are now feeling on edge. Nothing's more precious than your children. And the thought of someone trying to steal one, well, it's certainly worth watching more closely. It was in September. This man looking for a victim on the aisles inside the Walmart. On surveillance video, we're able to see this individual following the mom and the 14 year old around the store, you know, before, you know, going up and actually taking the phone out of a purse that was in the shopping cart. He said the man left for a moment, then came back and asked the girl if she'd lost her phone. He might have it in his car. Follow him outside. Mom was a little distance away, but not that far. Mom overheard this and of course followed the guy out and got the phone back and he quickly took off and we weren't able to get a license number and stuff on the car. Police are hoping someone recognizes the man or the car or both. A white hatchback, maybe a Hyundai Elantra GT. Unsettling for shoppers, especially those with kids. Very scary. You know, we're trying to come here and do our errands, do things every day, things that people need to do, and to have to be worried about our children being preyed upon when we're trying to get food home to feed them is really, really upsetting. She says she's already watchful. She'll be even more cautious now. And she has her cell phone handy. Oh, yeah, if I saw something like that happening to mine or somebody else's, I wouldn't idly stand by in any means because you wouldn't want that to happen to you. I would gladly grab my phone and take a picture. Everyone's got their phone. There's no reason not to. This is the only known incident of its kind in this area recently. If anyone does have information, please call Oceanside Police. Live in Oceanside, Steve Fury, 10 News.